Today we are going to make eggplant, goat cheese, walnut, ravioli. For our ingredients we need a food processor, a pasta roller, butter, walnuts, eggplant, extra large eggs, goat cheese, garlic, olive oil, flour, and parsley. First we need to make our pasta dough. So we're going to crack three eggs in a bowl and then whisk. For now, we're going to put our flour in two cups of flour in and then our eggs. Now we're gonna flick the food processor and then mix it up. Now that our pasta is into a bowl, we're going to put it into our pasta roller. We're going to knead it first. Now we're going to feed our pasta dough to the pasta roller. Our pasta is already done and rolled. Now we're going to get ready to do our stuffed. First we're going to cut an eggplant. Now we're going to fry up our eggplant. So I'm going to put some olive oil on the pan and then put the eggplant. Now we're going to fry it up on the side for each minute. Now we are going to put our eggplant in and then our parsley and our garlic and our Goat cheese and salt and pepper. First, we're going to take eggplant. Now, we're going to put two minutes of garlic in. Now, we're going to put in our parsley. Now, our goat cheese. Now our salt and pepper. And our pepper. Now we need to mix it all up in our food processor. Now our stuffing is done. We're going to take it out and put it in our raviolis. Now we're going to cut our raviolis and put them into the ravioli sauce. Now we're going to take our mix and put it on the ravioli right in the center. Now we need to 
put our raviolis on top and push the side. Now we're going to start boiling our water to start cooking our ravioli. Don't forget to show out your water. Now we're going to put in our stick of butter and our walnuts for our sauce. Now that our butter is almost all done melting, we're going to pour in our walnuts. Now we're going to toss them in the butter. Now that our water is boiling, we're going to cook our raviolis. First, I'm going to drop one at a time. Now our raviolis are cooked, we're going to put them inside of our walnut sauce. Now we need to stir them up and then it's ready to serve. And here's my homemade eggplant goat cheese raviolis with walnut sauce. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.